Choo Choo Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Railroad Tycoon 3 with me, Blue Anchor. In our last episode, we got some basic routes set up. I believe we we're on our way to Green Bay, and uh, hopefully we'll make it there this episode. We've managed to rename uh, a couple stations and some trains, and uh, it looks like that last episode recorded correctly. Huzzah! So I don't have to do take number five. I don't know how many takes it took. <laughs> anyway, so let's get to it. Remember that our goal is to connect at some point uh, Cleveland and St. Louis, so we will need to work on that soon enough, as well as make a whole bunch of money for our company. Uh, I think we need to make it to like, uh, where's the one? No, no, no. Companies, I need to make, where's my, oh, here it is, down here. I need, no. Barracks by Fort Smith, more soldiers to transport. You can see they also demand alcohol, weapons, and ammunition. So there's an if there's ever an ammunition plant, you can use that to make money. We'll, we'll worry about that stuff later on. Also, hold on, hold on. Train two. Ah, it broke down. No, train two. Why did you break down? You have a maintenance thing right on your route. I guess it's just bad luck. He has, like, certain percent chance of breaking down, even with oil. So that's just too bad. Um, no, what was I talking about? Shoot, I got interrupted and then I messed it up. Well, we need to make money, right? Company, we need, where's an easy way to see it? Probably in the ledger, I guess. Um, overall, there we go, company book value. We need to be worth 40 million and we need to start making industry profit. Probably the earlier we start making industry profit, the better. But uh, I think my priority is just trains first. I'll try to get St. Louis connected and then I'll start worrying about industry because it's very expensive to get into that. You need lots of millions of dollars to even buy a few businesses that are profitable. Or if you're really tricky, you can find an industry um, before you connect it that's not worth very much and then connect it up and suddenly it'll start making profits. So these are just houses, no big deal. Is there anything up here by like Rhinelander? I think you can build them too, but it's not like it's cheap. So um, like theoretically I could make a weapons factory for 2.3 million and then connect it up with a route to somewhere like that Fort Dodge, um, this thing? Iron mine, no. Well, yeah, I mean, they probably need iron mine to make, so that would be the kind of thing. You could go iron mine to the weapons manufactory. Um, where was that? Weapons, weapons factory. Does it tell you what you need to actually looking for um, like what it, it needs to be to produce stuff maybe it doesn't tell you until you build it but I have a feeling it turns iron ore into weapons and then you can take your weapons and sell them at uh, wherever the uh, wasn't there a um, I'm sure somewhere near Fort Dodge there's a uh, troop camp um, how would I find this stuff troops troops so there's just no troops anywhere? You'd think it'd be easier to find this stuff. This is the routes that could carry troops. Oh, well, I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. But the point is, I could start trying to work on that. Weapons. Weapons aren't really worth any worth any money specifically anywhere. It's too bad. Okay, what's a more likely, more likely scenario then? Let's look at, like, alcohol, right? Alcohol, we know we have, uh... We know we have places that consume alcohol. So for instance, Milwaukee actually has both. So they will produce alcohol and then also consume it and turn it into goods. That's probably why Milwaukee will turn out to be so good because of this port. Um, we also want to ship meat and paper here so that they get used by the port. Um, and also sending grain so that the brewery works at max efficiency. Um, this actually might be a worth buying. It's not making much money right now. But what we could do is we could make sure we give it more grain, which we could connect Dubuque to, uh, to, we can connect Dubstep, sorry, to Milwaukee. And that would, well, it's a corn farm. Oh, I need a wheat farm. That's a fruit orchard. Is there no wheat farms? Maybe that's the problem. There's no wheat farms nearby. Grain. So yeah, that consumes grain. So the grain farms are a long way away, like across the, across the Hudson, or no, sorry, across whatever that lake is. Erie? I don't know. Superior? I don't know. One of the Great Lakes. Anyway, the point is, if I connected up a route to, um, was it? 
Sorry, I'm, I'm a little bit confused here. Grain is $26 there, but it's $70 there. So yeah, you'd make a lot of money connecting it up. Oh, here we go. Maybe that's one. Is that a grain farm? It's a house. Fruit orchard? Dairy farm? Whatever. I'll figure it out one of these days. The point is, you connect these up, you can make money. You can make lots of money by uh, owning them from industry. Like this one made 200000 last year, so that's not a bad idea, buying a dairy farm. Whatever, let's just get on with the game. I'll figure that stuff out later. I don't have enough money anyway. We're just going to use trains for now. So, like a good train man, we're going to connect up Green Bay to Sheboygan. Such a funny name, Sheboygan. Say that one fast. Sheboygan, Sheboygan, Sheboygan. Um, how much is this going to cost me? It's going to cost me a third of a mil. wonder if I can get there without having to go straight through the mountain. Um, so there's kind of a little hill on the way to Green Bay. I wonder if I could like curve up along the coast here. I don't think it would save me much money. Logging camp, that's actually interesting too. So this thing produces pulp wood and logs. So if I had somewhere that consumed that, it's worth 70 bucks up here. Oh no, it's, it's way cheaper over here. There's nowhere that's green, really. Nowhere likes logs. What's these little green? House. Oh, this house demands a little bit of wood. Right. Yeah, it uses a teeny weeny bit of wood every year. That's what that is. Alright, we'll get the hang of it. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. A lot of the trick for this game is figuring out good uh, trade routes. Um, I guess I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. We'll just we'll just connect stuff up, and we'll figure we'll figure out the industry after we're making good money. Okay, I wonder if I should hit up sort of by this little pondy lake thing. I might be able to avoid some of the mountains that way, and then then I could connect up to Stevens and Rhinelander from there. You know that might work. Okay. Sometimes the straightest route is best, but sometimes avoiding a mountain might be worth it. Well, it's still pretty steep even to get in there. Hmm, I could get... I could get there easy enough. But then what? Can I still get anywhere? Well, a little bit of yellow. Actually, you know, that was a good... I think that was a good addition there. That got me through almost with no red. A little bit of yellowy-orange, not so bad. So let's, uh... Let's do that. There must be a building in there that's like messing me up. All right, so that's pretty straight. And that's gonna be a little bit of a hill down. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to avoid that little hill. There's just no way. Green Bay is on the other side of a hill and that's just what you're gonna have to deal with. So, fair, a little bit steeper than I would like, I suppose. Let's go this way. Yeah, you, you, can, you can see that, a little bit of a hill. Not too bad. Okay, so at our station. Uh, Medium, maybe? Small? Yeah, small actually hits everything. Beautiful! Nice. Nice. Did I add a service thing here? No. I'm going to add a service station by uh, the middle one at Sheboygan. And then I will change the train that goes to Sheboygan. This one has no water. Oh, I'm going to have to look at these little symbols here. Okay, hold on. Okay, at least the investors are happy. My salary increases. We made even more money. Yeah, actually, we blew profits out. We did awesome. Look at that. We are kicking butt, making money. We're killing the end. The AI is like almost losing money across the board, so that's really good for us. And we're currently worth almost a million in stock ourselves, although we don't have a lot of cash. I might have to buy some more stock here, actually. Okay, let's pause. Let's look at the stock quick. Um, our own stock is still rising like crazy so in fact buying a little bit of it it's not a bad idea it's not cheap i'll buy two more buy one more there we go. that puts us at 15k out of 40 so we're we're slowly approaching that 50 percent of the company mark that i'm aiming at um although one of the other uh players the ai player has actually bought some of my stock that's interesting I could buy some of theirs, but they're all doing horrible, so, you know, they're just going to go bankrupt. So I'm not going to buy their stock. 
Okay, anyway, train. Gotta set this up. So, this guy needs some water. The Milwaukee line. Milwaukee to Sheboygan. And then also all the way up. So, um... And actually, I want him to stop on the way back, too. So he's gonna have four stop circle route. Um... Is there no water here? I guess I should have had one right here, because a lot of trains go through that. Well, I think we're positive enough that I can afford having a service tower by Milwaukee. That will help out two routes, at the very least. Alright, that will do. Oh, there was another one that had, like, no oil. This guy. So what's going on with you? No oil... I guess Debusque to Mil Madison, and he's just not smart enough to go into that maintenance thing right here. It's kind of dumb. He could just go a little bit forward, pick up some oil, and then his breakdown chance would go way down. Ugh, stupid AI. Maybe it's my own fault for route planning, but still. I have to build another one of those things. Oh well. I mean, I could change his route, I suppose. I could do... I could change that one to go Dubuque, Madison, Milwaukee, and then he'd have to go through it. Be a three-stop route. Then I have two trains doing the same route. It's not really what I wanted. How's this train doing anyway? Not bad. 76k, it's got four full, it could, it could get five. Actually, I think I forgot that with the new train. Yeah, I want that one to have six, just in case it ever gets really full. Let it carry the most it can. Alright. Um, other than that one train with no oil, we're doing fine. What should I do about this one train? Is it worth spending like 100k to get it some oil? Sure. There you go. Get some oil. I'd rather not have it break down. It's gonna... Actually, it costs me more than 100k because I have to pay maintenance for it anyway, so... Whether or not that really makes me any money, it's a little bit doubtful, but... You also kind of have, like, a reputation for, like, I, the way the game works. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Your company kind of has a reputation based on how often your trains break down and stuff. And companies and passengers will sort of only go with you if you have a low breakdown rate and stuff. Kind of makes sense, right? Anyway, it fills up his oil. His breakdown chance goes way down. Should help out a little bit. I mean, it went from, what, 34% down to 13? That's considerably better. Alright. That's probably worth it, I guess. Okay, where's next? What's the next route to make? How's the, the bonds looking, if I want it? Do I have any debt? No debt. I got a double A credit rating. Ooh, we're getting very close to cheap, cheap, cheap loans. I'll definitely have to think about that. Because I don't mind taking a loan at triple A once I hit that. So we just gotta make a little bit more money, and uh, that'll be good. So what's next? Where should we go? Um, could connect up Dubuque to these ones. Actually, those, that might not be those two bad routes. They're not that long. It might have like one train go to those three back and forth or something. Could do that. Oh, the economy's going down. Oh well. That actually means the loans, yeah, the prime rate just went up. Oh well. So now if I took a loan, it would be at plus one from Prime. Which is now eight, I guess, to say. Um, what would be the best way to make money? I never connected Rockford. I could make a quick Rockford to Chicago line. Chicago, I d was planning on having like a main route through here. And it's got a maintenance station right there. You know, that's not bad. They're probably not too expensive. If we go from here... Just to, to uh, Rockford. It's kind of hilly. Hmm. It's, it's actually pretty much dead center from all those connections. What's the cheapest way to get to Rockford? I guess it's flatter on like that side than this side. So it's kind of like better for the trains. Even if the route's a little bit longer maybe? I don't know. Yeah, company's going bankrupt, no surprise. Milwaukee is my best city. Can I, like, get from Milwaukee to there if I go this way? That's not bad. That's green all the way through, isn't it? Alright, let's do it. 
This isn't, this is a little bit longer than some of the connections, but Milwaukee is such a good city. Well, I mean, then the, the problem with that is, the problem with that idea, okay, hold on, think about this for a sec, Blue, is, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, salary cut? It was the economy, it's not my fault. 5.30 to 4.30, that's nothing to do with me. The economy's slowing down. I'm making tons of money. Hold on, just pause for a sec. Um, it'll run out of goods if I put all the connections, well, it's got a lot of milk, um, but, I mean, if I always have people going, I don't know, it's, I guess it's a pretty big city. I would like Chicago to grow more, though, honestly. I wonder if I could just, okay, you know what? I'm going to pay a little bit more. I'm going to do the Chicago route, just because I want Chicago to grow as well. And I think the more traffic a city has, the faster it grows. So we're going to do it. It's not going to be as clean of a route as if I went through a different, different way in. Go about here, nice and green. Mostly green through that way. See if I can make it through this hill. Pretty nice. That's pretty green. And then, oh, I might have gone just a little bit too far. Okay, hold on. That was a good line, I just drew it a little bit too far. We'll go, we'll go just to. Uh, there, yeah, and then we'll turn it. Got to go a little bit closer so we can see. Yeah, there you go. That's a pretty good, pretty good route. So I think I managed to get a pretty straight connection, even though it's through the hills. There's not too much up and down, and that saved me a little bit of money, of course. Of course, I kind of poor again. Uh, small? Yeah, we can get away with a small station. Rockford's not that big. And it can get maintenance and uh, the other stuff right there. So that'll be fine. I guess I'll double track it to the split again. I think that's a smart idea too. Always double tracking to your splits. Is that actually right through it? I'll build just a little bit further just to double check. Can I do that? Oh, I don't have any money. Right, right, right. Negative 7k. Come on, some train turn in. Make me a little bit of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was only negative for a second. Oh, a recession. Uh-oh. Wish I had more money. Wish I'd taken out those loans when we were in Prime. And then I'd have money to build stuff everywhere. Okay, I guess I'm just going to leave it. I was... I'm not sure if that counts as double all the way through or if there's like one little tile of single that two trains can crash on. Come on, game. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, I think... You know, no, I don't think it is. Can you please just... There. Now it's good. Now it's good. We just added that one little bit of track. That's all I needed. Good. Sapphire to Rockford. All right. Finally figured it out. Go train, go. Whew, that was difficult. <laughs> All right. So we got another new route. Uh, so the economy is going down. Prime rate's up to 8%. Now we got a new train. The American. New locomotive. American 440. I'll have a comparison in a second. Um, let's pause just for a second here while I think about things. Take a 9% loan, which isn't too bad, to build stuff during the recession while it's cheaper. I think you'd find right now if I built, say I like, just pretend if I built this connection, if you could actually see it, 500, I, I assume, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's supposed to be cheaper. Yeah, 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 I don't have any money. Um, on the other hand, during recession the stock's price goes down, so my purchasing power decreases, which pushes me towards bankruptcy if I'm not careful. Um, what else could I do? Issue, issue stocks? 120k, not a huge difference. Eh, we'll just keep playing. See if the recession is alright. Keep an eye on our trains, maybe. The Sheboygan route, how come you don't have any oil? You pass through an oil filler-upper, don't you? There's no oil filler-upper on this road. And why is this train stopped? Oh, is it broken down or something? 
No idea why it stopped there. It should have been fine. Maybe, maybe I should have uh, double tracked that just a little bit longer. There. Just in case. I don't want the train stopping just for no reason. I might be getting too tricky for my own good. <laughs> Few trains. So yeah, why are you out of oil? Oh right, like I said, no oil on that route. Oil's up there. I'm not doing very good with my placement of uh, of these uh, whatever they call maintenance facilities. Well, fine. Milwaukee's a popular place. This is kind of dumb, but I'll build one here. There you go. Everyone goes to Milwaukee. I think what I'll do then is I'll sell this one because it's now redundant. Um, yeah, let's get rid of this guy. It doesn't even maintain very many trains, so can I please sell this? Oh, I don't know if I know. Actually, I'm not even sure if I can. I might not be able to get rid of it. Shoot! Oh, you know what I could do? I could do some hotels and stuff. Yeah, let's do some hotels. They're not that expensive. Let's put a hotel by Milwaukee. Let's put a hotel by Chicago. Chicago is a big place. I'm sure they have a couple hotels in real life. Let's see. Other big cities. Madison is growing on me. I'll put a hotel here. This will make us a little bit of industry income. Post office is also good. It makes more mail stick around for my mail cars. And that makes us money too. So yeah, they'll do that. We'll just build some basic buildings. I don't know if they're going to make a ton of industry money for us, but uh, you know what? Maybe I should just build a hotel and a post office everywhere. They're not, well, 100k, they're not super cheap. Post office is cheaper. Tell you what, I'll build post offices everywhere to start with, because we can be mail deliverers. That could be fine. That, that's fun. As soon as we have some money. We'll see if it makes us any more cash. I mean, you can read, right? Post office doubles the length of time that mail will wait at nearby buildings. Um, so what does that mean for us? Ah, end of year again. At least my salary went up this time. Income, yeah, we made that's a most profitable year again, and we're during a recession. So the fact that we're still making a ton of money during a recession is a good sign. Um, hold on, just pause for a second here. So the mail, we currently have 1.44 cars worth of mail in dubstep um, and then there's the demand for where it wants to go to Sheboygan Sapphire City and Milwaukee um, there's only so much mail I guess and the more the fact that if I build a, a post office it will wait longer I don't know it might make a bit of money whatever we'll put one everywhere it won't be that big a deal they're not that expensive there you go. Everybody can have mail. <laughs> um, so what else we got? Restaurants. Also fairly cheap. Um, you get more money for passenger traffic. No matter where people are going. You don't want to have competition though. Taverns. Make more profit off of passengers. And especially good when they board trains it says. Cities where passengers board their trains. So all of my cities again. And they also compete. Hotels, also off of passenger traffic, and do well where passengers switch. So hubs, yeah, it's it's where you come in off one train, stay at a hotel, and then go on another train later. So you only want to build hotels. Good. Economy, no, bad. <laughs> Economy crashes. <laughs> Not good. Um, you only want to build hotels in places like maybe Milwaukee, where a train comes in, trains leave going other directions. Good, a distillery in South Bend. I could go to South Bend. So yeah, hotels in Milwaukee, maybe Chicago once I connect stuff up. And I can build um, the other things, post offices, restaurants, everywhere. So I'll put a restaurant in Milwaukee. Milwaukee's big. In fact, I want to have one of each in Milwaukee because it's kind of like my... Cro it's, it's my biggest city right now. Hopefully this makes us a bit of money. So we'll see how that works. It should hold on to lots of mail now because of the mail, the post office. I will build everything down in Chicago as well. This could be questionable business sense right now, but 
These will also probably make more money as the cities grow and more passengers come through. There you go. So that's one of each in Chicago, one of each in Milwaukee. Hmm, should I keep building them? Maybe in Madison they can have... I already have a hotel here, so we might as well go restaurant tavern. Might as well. So we'll blow through a fair bit of money for this year just on uh, stuff like that. Ah, 50,000. There you go. Okay, so that's three cities with all the cheap buildings. And everyone has a, has a mail office at the very least. That's, that's good, that's good. We'll worry about restaurants and taverns later on as the cities get bigger. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, quit messing around, Blue. That stuff's not going to make me very much money. So, trains. Rockford's doing pretty good. Actually, well, let's find out. How is the Rockford route? 49k, it's steady. It's made 200,000 since I opened it up. Could be much worse. Full of mail, or no, full of meat, sorry. Yum, tasty. All right, so how's the company doing? Stocks are all still quite low. Well, I guess they quite have flattened out. Could be worse. I think while we're on a recession, I'm gonna spend a little bit more of my dwindling money here because I'm assuming that once this recession ends, the stock will start going up again and more money for me, right? Also, our competition has all practically bankrupted themselves. These guys are totally done. 6K, $6, dollars a share is horrible. Uh, these guys seem to be doing the best and they're not doing very good. So that's what you get. Can't fight with blue. Oh, another another news. Daniel Drew fired from Rochester and Mason. Shareholders revolt. Yeah, that's what happened to me on that first episode that I uh, failed on. See, doctors recommend more meat. It's perfect. I got meat. <laughs> that's probably good for meat sales. I wouldn't be surprised. Salary continues to increase. Another record-breaking uh, year. We've cracked a million in total revenue. And look at that. We actually made a little bit in industry this time. That's that's good. Um, trains are all profitable. Companies, we're, 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 we've won as far as the companies are concerned. Yeah, Jay Cook has a little bit of money, but nothing compared to us in, in actual stock. Ah, uh, we need to make a lot more money. 10 million in industry, 40 million in book value. We've got a long way to go, and we've already spent seven years. So how are we gonna, how are we gonna take, speed this up a little bit? Got to get out of this recession for one thing. Got to make more money. This route, this train is full. Passengers, passengers, mail, passengers, produce. Interesting. So that's six full cars. I could potentially actually upgrade it to more. Or add another train. That's the Milwaukee to Madison route. That's a good route. I'm glad I built that. Passengers don't make you a ton of money, but... Could be worse. Nah, the lowest wealth uh, car is only 8,000. So adding another one is like, it's not even gonna be that good. Yeah, it wouldn't actually add too much profit to that route. It would probably just transport more produce or something. So I'll just ignore it. Um, what if I took a loan now? How's our, how is our rating? Only an A rating, we're not up to AAA anymore. So that's prime plus two now. Mm, no, I'm not going to take any loans. Where's the next city? I think it's time to start heading south. I mean, I could do Cedar Rapids and Davenport. But I think Chicago, it's time for you to grow. We're going to start heading down. I could connect up to Lafayette. Is that hills or is that just fields? Just fields, no big deal. But it's across a river. But that way I could use their station. Can I actually... Uh, I can get a bridge in there. It's not too hard. Uh, it's still, that's a long trip. It might be easier to go to South Bend first. Yeah, South Bend's not so far. I think I'll do Chicago to South Bend. That's a natural connection from, self, from Chicago. Yeah. 
And also, make sure you're only on single track when you're looking around. Oh, bulldoze! There's the bulldoze. Can I get rid of that? Uh, I forgot about that. I didn't want this thing here, so maybe I can get rid of it. Yep. Oh, killed the track. Hold on. There we go. Fixed it. Okay, so that should cut down our maintenance a little bit. That train will still be serviced. One of them will be serviced down by Dubuque. The other one will be serviced up at Milwaukee. So that just cuts down on the total number of, uh, of maintenance buildings we have. That's a little bit more profit. Less upkeep. Okay, train time. Track time. Okay, try to keep it as cheap as I can. Fairly cheap. Fairly cheap. Moderately cheap. And then there's a hill. Of course there's a hill. So how am I going to do this? That way seems pretty good. Right about there. Let's try to find the most efficient route over this hill. Because you don't want to go up and then down again every time. You want to try to go straight. Actually, that looks pretty good. Let's do that. And then it's kind of straight into South Bend. Look at that. It's like I know what I'm doing. I think we'll go through that way. All right. We got South Bend connected. Well, nearly. Okay, we're going back to stations. And a small station to save money, I think. Yeah. As soon as I can afford it. Feels like we're doing okay this playthrough. Oh man, 30 minutes already? Oh, things go so fast in this game. Come on, I just want to connect this up and then we can wrap the episode up. Wow, I added like two routes. That's horrible. Yes, speed record. One of your trains has averaged 30 miles an hour. Oh, I forgot to check the new train out too. Anyway, passengers will pay extra. Beautiful. We'll call it the blue bullet, I think. That's much smarter. Alright. So let's add the station here. Maybe just pause the game for a second. No. Yeah, I've got enough money. No, I don't. I need a... a one of these. There we go. Now I have enough money. Pause. So one thing I wanted to have a look at was... I have a new train. I forgot about this American 440. So it's 10 years newer than the Baldwin. It's uh, actually cheaper to buy, a little bit more maintenance by default. Uh, fuel economy is a slight D. It's, it's down a little bit from the Baldwin. It's not as good. Uh, acceleration is the same. Reliability goes down. Passengers like it more. Um, you can actually see on the, the thing, if it's cooler, like if it looks sharp or ultra cool, you get more money from passengers. If it's ugly, you get a penalty. Ah, so my Baldwin, all that passenger stuff. I'm actually getting 15% less revenue from the passengers on the Baldwin. Interesting. Um, acceptable, at least, is just neutral. Although ultra cool might be cool. Like, look sharp would have gave us 15%. You know, that's that's smart. I should think I should pay, pay attention to that. Uh, the other thing is, it's pretty similar in speed. It looks like it's a bit more powerful than the Baldwin. Not on hills. Wow, that's very low train. So if, it's, if you have a 6% grade, you're in trouble no matter what. Um, but specifically on straight straight road at high weights, it's a little bit more powerful than the Baldwin. But it is worse on fuel economy. And reliability, that's bad too. The only thing it really helps is passenger appeal. And that's 15% more money from passengers. So, I mean, you could check... Uh, which is it? Income statement. I am making 300,000 for mail, or from passengers, mail, and troops combined. Um, so you'd have to, how would you figure out just how much money you're making from passengers? Well, for instance, the blue bullet with six cars still making a speed record has uh, two cars full of passengers right now, which gives us you know, 50,000 per trip from them. I could also potentially add in something like a, a dining car, and that would increase the passenger revenue. And if I switch to a fancier, uh, 
fancier engine, I could also improve the revenue a little bit. I don't know if that's worth it, really. It's just a little bit of passenger revenue. I'm not going to bother with it right now. Maybe later. Anyway, that's all for this episode. Uh, I think we need to get to Cleveland. We've got to start working that connection route. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Next episode, we're going to try to get from South Bend, Toledo, Cleveland, Detroit. Maybe even Saginaw and London. Connect up all of the uh, Northeast. And then uh, eventually we'll start working our way to St. Louis. We still got 23 years. We just got to make some more industry money. So that's the trick. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and have a great day.